All right, so next problem, bank road. We have a car doing a horizontal turn on a banked road. The center of the circle is towards that direction. The forces again are the force to the gravity down and the normal force that is perpendicular to the wall, to the road, I'm sorry. The angle now, what is the angle? So this angle now is equal to the angle with the vertical. Why is that? Because the normal force is the normal force is perpendicular to the surface. That means that um, it creates exactly the same angle with the perpendicular to the horizontal, meaning the vertical. I hope it makes sense. I hope it is easy for you to understand this. I hope you can see that. Um, so there are other forces, the force of the engine and friction that are on the third axis and we don't do three dimensional problems. So this is what we have. Again, we will resolve the normal force into the two components, meaning that we will still have the force due to gravity. We will have the radial component of the normal force and the vertical component. So the cosine now goes on the y-axis, just because we know the angle with the y-axis. The r component will be the normal force times the sine, while the y component will be the normal force times the cosine. Again, if they were giving us um, we can always turn to the other angle just because they're complementary. Again, one, two. We do know that the sum of forces on the radial axis should create the centripetal acceleration. The sum of forces on the y axis should. Oh, I'm so sorry should be zero, meaning that um, the y component should be equal to the force due to gravity. And here, the r component will be mv squared over r. One, two, three, four. The process is always the same. So just because I want the tangent, I will use the first and the third, the first and the third, and so, so the normal force times the sine of the angle will be VFNR, which is mv squared over r, and from the other two equations I can find that the y component, which is Fn cosine theta, equals mg by dividing these two I can find again that fn sine theta over normal cosine theta equals mv squared over r divided by mg mass is cancelled again so the tangent of theta I Hope you can see here the tangent of theta will be v squared over rg. We see that um, in all these problems it, in conical pendulum leaning and having a banked road, the formula we come up is um, pretty much the same. It depends on the angle. If we have the angle with the horizontal or the vertical, if we have 
the angle with the horizontal, this is um, actually uh, flipped. That's the, that's the only difference. The formula is always the same. So they can tell us that, all right, so we know that we need to do a turn of a, a certain radius. We know the speed limit. So what should the bank be, the angle, so we make sure that all cars turn safely. We see that the mass does not matter again. 